Hello, Pastor Carl Johnston with the Atlanta, Ebenezer, and Hopedale United Methodist Churches, the Prairie Winds Parish. Today our devotion is going to be on a, a religious word. The religious word today is lectionary. The lectionary is a series of readings that ministers and others use to go through their reading of the Bible. Frequently it's used in terms of our preaching. Instead of the pastor getting stuck on his own or her own hobby horses, um, there is a series of readings for every Sunday of the year. Actually, there is a reading for every day of the year. So every day you could read from the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures. You can read from the Psalms, read from one of the Gospels. Those that's out of Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, the lives, the life of Jesus. And then the rest of the New Testament are the letters and other teachings. Now, why? Why do we have a lectionary? Well, ever since um, the Jewish times, um, some folks even say back to Moses, there have been certain readings that go along with certain days. For example, on Christmas Eve, the lectionary for every year, and it's divided into a three-year cycle, all three years on Christmas Eve is Luke chapter 2. It's the Christmas story every year. Now, I've been a pastor since 1980. This is my 40th year. That means I've been through the lectionary three times, yeah, a, a lot of times, 12, 13 different times. So I have preached on Luke chapter 2 and the birth of Jesus uh, this year, it'll be 40 times. Sometimes you start to wonder about what am I going to say that's new? And it's not about what you're going to say that's new. It's the audience is always new. There's always somebody who's never heard that story before. So the lectionary readings are sometimes tied to an event like the birth of Jesus or the resurrection of Jesus or the ascension of Jesus. Sometimes the Bible stories will talk about... Uh, different things and sometimes the old testament and the new testament will tie together wonderfully and other times i'm just not sure how they put those together and there's sometimes i read them and i follow them faithfully and there are other times i decide you know it's time for a series of sermons and i wanted to go and do something different the lectionary for this week has some uh, unhappy passages in it um, for many of us, this week is Father's Day. This coming Sunday is Father's Day. And so one would hope to see in the Bible and the lectionary reading uh, all wonderful verses about the fatherhood of God and, and Joseph being a great father of Jesus and Father Abraham and, and all of that. Uh, you're going to be sadly disappointed because it's not there. It may be in the Bible, but it's not set for this Sunday. Sometimes there are difficult, challenging passages in the lectionary, and those should be there because it's easy to do the easy stuff. But the Bible gives us challenges to help us grow, to help us mature, to make us wonder and think, and how do we understand God, and how do we understand how things have affected one person that affected a generation that affected the world. This week, I'm going to be on Tuesday looking at the Old Testament, the Hebrew passage, the Hebrew scripture passage for this week. On Wednesday, I'll look at the uh, Psalm. Thursday is going to be the New Testament reading from the book of Romans. And then on Friday, I'll look at the gospel reading with you. And on Sunday, Saturday and Sunday, I'll preach on something entirely different. So, the lectionary reading helps us to have balance. It helps us to look at both the Old Testament, the New Testament, the life of Jesus, the Hebrew hymns, and it gives us a balance, a balance in our lives for how God works through the scriptures and in our lives. So, the lectionary is something we've been looking at for years and years, and it is a great tool. And I pray it's a tool that you will use and be helped by and grow in your faith. And that's something for you to think about.